XXX Temptation got seven new charges for tampering with a witness in his abuse case. But before we get into that, y'all, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, drop a like on this video and also leave a like. Leave a like down below in the comment section if you want to win this giveaway. I'm going to be giving away two Amazon cards if you comment down below and say why you should win. I'm also, from the last video, still giving away the iTunes cards, so make sure you do that also. Let's get back into this. So from what I'm hearing all over the internet is this man X contacted the witness slash his ex and was asking her if she could drop the charges. After all that happened, I'm guessing the woman who was supposedly abused by X wrote up a letter and sent it to the police and to X's lawyer talking about X contacting her and telling her to drop, to drop those charges. Now if you don't know anything about how court cases go or anything like that, then you should know that if you are the one getting accused and you are talking to the witness, then that could hit you with tampering and that's not a good thing at all. Judges take witness tampering serious because criminals often try to bully witnesses in hopes of scaring them away from giving testimony. In Florida, tampering with a case or a witness is a felony punishable by a fine of up to $5,000 or up to five years in prison or imprisonment and a fine. So if y'all ever get in that situation, well, <laughs> well, damn. And the bad thing is, is that I'm hearing that the witness was going to drop the case in the first place, but the prosecutor on the case claims that X tried to convince the witness not to comply with authorities and reverse her statements. That's absolutely insane. So now X has a case with seven charges, and that goes down on Friday, December 15th in Miami, Florida. So if you're a fan, and I'm not saying you should, but if you're trying to go and truly enjoy X, then I guess that would be a great opportunity for you to help one of your favorite rappers. Here's a couple of videos from his Instagram live. Okay, guys. So I was just given seven more charges uh, by the state attorney's office. Uh, and I have a court date on the 15th. So I would ask uh, that everyone come to support me and to show the positive influence that I have. I ask that the people that do come, come bearing uh, positive energy and just to be a good support to me and just to simply show that I do positively affect the world and that I'm not a decreasement to the value of the world. Now, if you don't know how any of this started and why he's even going to court for his ex in the first place, well, here's the info I have for you for that. Geneva, ex's ex-girlfriend, stated in her testimony that she complimented one of her friends or their friends on his jewelry. And supposedly X got really upset about that and hit her over the head with her own iPhone 6. That's crazy. Now let me remind you, this is what she's stating. This was her testimony. So don't come on my head saying anything. I don't want to hear any of it, you know. So she also stated that X continued to threaten her and gave her two choices. And those are to either stick a barbecue fork inside of her or to stick a barbecue brush inside her, like, what? <laughs> Those were the two choices. But wait, it doesn't stop there. She decided and chose the fork. And he told her to undress, and he started to rub the fork against her thigh. Also, a big part of the info, before I continue from what she stated, is that before when X was in jail and locked up for the other charges, that Geneva was cheating on him. So when he got out and discovered this information, they were together. X went out to the balcony and called up the guy she was cheating on him with, and stuff happened over the phone. But when X came back in and got off the phone, she stated that X started to beat her. He started throwing elbows, he was headbutting her, as she's telling of the gruesome story that happened. Don't let these stories fool you though. Shorty might have been lying and could have easily tried to pull a money stunt on X and frame him for these acts of violence. The video you're about to watch is of Geneva and X. The video may not be proof at all, but it could also show light on his side of the story and if she's lying on his name or not. You know? Here's a video of Geneva going through a drug-induced episode. Well, I had a bunny. How you going Open. Okay. 
mac and cheese. Yeah, we have mac and cheese. But now here's a video of him describing his love and passion for his ex even after everything plus the breakup. Well, do you still speak to your ex or what's the situation? Do you guys have children together or No, it was it was just more or less like when you like I'm just saying this to you as a person, not even like not, not even on no interview shit like when you when you you know what it feels like to feel for somebody, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And when you have this genuine genuine feeling that you get from somebody and you get make that person your source of happiness, obviously it becomes like they they become your drug. You know what I'm saying? This girl became like my drug. She must have had that good good, huh? It, it wasn't even a pussy dog. What was it? What was? Hey, Tell me. She was talking to nigga good though. Okay, hey, so yeah, she had hey. your mental too. <laughs> so the mental was there. Everything. It, it was. It was mentally. I, it may have just been myself because I, I wasn't enough for myself at that point in time. Like, like, so she fed something in you that you felt like you were missing. She filled the void. There was always there will be and always was a void in my heart, and it was just due to the fact that I didn't have my mom for for a, a long amount of time. And my mom was out there trying to hustle, get her money up, you feel me? And and she was doing everything she could. And I, like, and I ain't even finna dub my mom. Like, I love my mom to death. That's my, that's my, that's the apple in my eye. I'll take a bullet from my mom any day. You take a bullet from my mom right now, no question. No questions asked. But it was just, at the time when she was younger, my mom was 17, 18 with a baby. And I mean, her, her, her nigga not paying her no mind. She ain't have nobody around, you feel me? So she was just hustling and trying to get out of the mud. She was passing me hand around, hand to hand and shit. So it was like So you at grandma house, you grandma, were, yeah. I, initially it wasn't even just that, like mm -hmm. she like to friends and shit, you know what I'm saying? Our babysitters and like distant family and shit like that. It wasn't nothing really too close. So I grew up having to self soothe, but imagine having to self soothe and not doing it and just being like mentally mentally ill from the very beginning and just being depressed from the very beginning. Mm. And I mean and I mean this like and I'm saying this like from my heart, like that's really what it was. Mm -hmm. X started to kind of get off topic, but towards the end, he also talks about his relationship with his mom. Now, I know this video has bounced around with whether he did it or whatever. If you believe he's guilty, that's your opinion. I'm not trying to change your mind, but other people might have a different mindset or may have faith he didn't. Back to what I was saying. Towards the end, X talks about his mom and the relationship he had with her, saying that his mom didn't really take care of him since he since she had nobody around and had troubles with money she brought to the table but also could be a sign of abuse being really if you never really had the attention from your mother i mean that could cause future problems with how you treat women and stuff like that but he also stated that he would take a bullet for his mother so you gotta pay attention to these signs and whether or not this could be a lie from geneva or you know like i've been saying this whole time but anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to smash that like button. Also leave a comment to enter to win these Amazon gift cards. Don't miss out on that. I have the instructions in the description if you're still curious and don't fully understand how to enter. I'm out y'all. Gang. Y'all niggas mad I'm successful? Suck my dick! Hey listen, after I put this music video out, I don't want niggas pretending that they was on the XXX wave, that it wasn't fuck XXX two days ago, two fucking milliseconds ago, suck my dick! No, but on some real shit, if you don't like me, refer me to your auntie so I can put my dick in her throat, because if y'all really think I ever gave a fuck about anything y'all be saying, or right, y'all gonna make me miserable, I'm gonna fuck y'all little sisters in their throats. I swear to God, I swear to God, everybody that called me a domestic uh, a, a abuser, I'm finna domestically abuse y'all little sister pussy from the back, fuck, aren't you? <laughs> Is this making you mad yet? If you hate me, are you mad yet? <laughs> are you gonna go on Reddit and post really bad things about me? Are you gonna make my dick even harder than it is now? <laughs> I really, I got one thing I really want to say. I think, I think I'm going to start supporting the feminist movement. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag insensitive. <laughs> Sorry, the last video didn't work. So what I meant to say was, I 
I realized. <laughs> I got distracted. I'm sorry. I got your auntie mortgage in my mouth. <laughs> this is gonna be so fucking mad on Instagram, and then they gonna be talking about me all day tomorrow when I drop this fucking video. Niggas is gonna be fucking mad because y'all can't fucking ignore me. You're not gonna ignore me. It's not possible. Impossible. Niggas is mad that I'm myself. Niggas is mad that I'm me. Niggas is mad that I want to be me. That I don't work a nine to five. That I ain't suck no dick to get here. Y'all niggas is mad. If you want your pussy domestically abused, hit my line. And with that, XXX out. <laughs> One more thing. Hair flip. Yeah, my lips are crusty, okay? <laughs> not even trying to dwell on any negative, but I'm not even 21 yet, so it's really sad to see people that are like 35 in an office trying to ruin a 19-year-old's life simply because he's somewhere in life. That's, that's not at all, a, doesn't make you a good person. I mean, sometimes I'm home and I see these people literally trying to ruin me and ruin the image that I have and ruin someone that is almost a savior to the kids and sits here and devotes time to these children to even speaking to them and, and soaking in this negative energy at that. Okay, so one more thing, guys. I appreciate all of you trying to help and offer support, but please do not call the judge's chambers. You guys are you're trying to help, but you're making me look bad. Please stop harassing the judge. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. I do want to say one more time, I love and I appreciate all of you for everything you do for me and all the support that I get. It makes me stay alive. It makes me be willing to keep fighting for my life, and it makes me want to motivate people and to ascend into life.